Surat and Kerry, you're both in on First Republic. Surat, you're right here at the New York Stock Exchange. We're going to start off with you. What are you going to do with this stock? Look, the situation is fluid, right? Right now, we know the depositors are safe. And the question is, what does the bank do and who are they going to either merge with, partner with, et cetera? So as equity holders, we're watching. Some of our clients who are kind of risk off, we've taken some of the exposure off. It's a much smaller position for us now. We're not going to add to it. But I think of just watching to see kind of they've got bankers in place. Uh, so you've got option value on it. But at some point, I'm going to make a decision whether I want to keep it or kind of just uh, uh, you know, get rid of it. Yeah, obviously a big macro event, but I mean, it's hard not to look at here. This stock within the last 52 weeks traded at 174 a share. Now it's below 20 bucks a share. Shocked at all about this dramatic downturn? Yeah, I, I think what happened was once Silicon Valley Bank happened, people turned to First Republic. They've got the exposure on the West Coast. They've got a mismanagement, mismatched balance sheet. So what is the true exposure? Rates coming down a little bit. And then you're just afraid of, am I going to be the last person standing? So, uh, but, but you've seen kind of what it's done, the contagion that spread to other regionals, to other small community banks. So with what is the government going to do here? And that's kind of what people are talking about. Is 250000 enough? FDIC insurance for every bank. Question is, that's probably not the right number, uh, because if you want banks to be around in our communities, people want confidence, not just for the depositors, but you want investors to be in there too. And if investors don't feel safe, you're not going to get that. So there, there's going to be some, some really interesting issues that the government needs to sort out if you want a fluid and, and I would also say an environment where lending can happen, because right now I could bet you that every risk officer is basically looking at their book and saying, why do I want to lend? OK, you're seeing money contract. And, and really the risk is to I don't want to give capital out there because if something happens, what do I do? Exactly. Uh, Carrie, you are also an investor in FRC. What's your take right now? So, Frank, we have a very, very small position in this. Uh, we thought that it was worth the chance of buying some last week. Uh, we are, in fact, selling some of it today. And we, we believe that this, uh, this fear factor is really the major driver. Unfortunately, it's, it's true that banks that are in a, a problematic situation with investors, I'm uh, sorry, with depositors who want their money of 250,000 out of the bank and into other banks are experiencing, I, I would say it's a pandemic hangover. I mean, there's a fear factor. We have lived through an enormous crisis in the last few years where, you know, we didn't know anything about this virus. Suddenly it was there and it could kill you. And so people went home and stayed home for a couple of years. So now we're being told your deposits aren't safe. And that just waves the flag, the big red flag, that everyone says, oh, my God, I have to go and get my money out right away. I'm going to stand in line all day. And that has happened to First Republic. Very unfortunately, they've lost tens of billions in deposits. Uh, and in a situation where the bank was a, a, a good bank, great customer service, Clients love the bank, and still they took your money. So it's really a, a, a function of what's going on in, with the mindset of depositors and wealthy people in this country who make up the majority of their uh, deposit base faces taken out so much that First Republic is really being forced now to look for other um, assets, raise more money. I don't think what they got is enough. They have to raise more money. And so it's a question of at what price can they get more money, either from a buyer or from the public? So, Carrie and Sir, I want to get your take on something for a second. Just getting some news right now. Shares of First Republic are halted right now. Carrie, what's your take on this news? We're obviously working to get some more information, but shares are halted right now, as you can see, frozen right now, down almost 26 percent. Well, all I can imagine is that they've um, they filed for a, uh, a public offering. I mean, maybe they're selling equity. Maybe they agreed to sell equity at a certain price to one bank or more banks. Maybe they're selling out the company at a price that reflects where it's trading right now. But, you know, I, yeah. I'm looking straight at the camera, so I can't look at uh, okay, any information. I'm going to give you the headlines.